Welcome everyone to another awesome tutorial on Elasticsearch 7. Till now we have discussed many things which includes Elasticsearch theory, how to install Elasticsearch, uh, how to index our documents, how to search through our documents. The next topic uh, is uh, one of my favorites in Elasticsearch and this is Elasticsearch aggregations. Uh, so what is an aggregation? Let's try to learn from the documentation itself. Here it says that an aggregation summarizes our data as metrics, statistics, or any other analytics. Uh, so here they have given certain examples like aggregations can help you answer questions like what's the average load time of my website? What could be considered a large file on my network? How many products are in each product category? So essentially aggregations are aggregating our data and giving us certain sort of an insight which which can lead to you know better business decisions and so on here it says that elasticsearch organizes aggregations into three categories which are metric bucket and pipeline uh, for the sake of this tutorial we will be sticking to metric aggregations so here it says metric aggregations calculate metrics such as average from field values and um, if I show you here, it's it's not just about average, like these are all the things that a mat metric aggregation can calculate for you. For example, average, it can calculate cardinality, geo bounds, these are related to geographic data, min, max, various kinds of stats, and so on. So without further ado, let's try this out by means of examples, like we always do. I'll head to my Kimana console, and here you can see that I have already indexed this set of eight documents, which will be a search space for the sake of this tutorial. Before uh, stepping in further, let's quickly see the syntax of performing an aggregation in the documentation. So here we will be sending a get request. We will give our index name here. We'll say that we want to search and this AGGS is the key, JSON key that we send to tell Elasticsearch that we wish to perform an aggregation. This is any name that I want to give to this aggregation. Uh, here I will supply whether I want to uh, calculate the average, the sum and so on. And here I will tell which field do I want to run this aggregation on. Let's try it out. We are back in Kibana and here we can see that all of these fields, all of these documents have a field called salary. So we will be running our aggregations mostly on this field. Uh, so as we saw in the example, let me firstly specify the index name and then say that I want to perform search. Next, I say that this will be an aggregation. The name I will give it. Uh, so let's say I want to find the max salary. So I give it the name max salary. And here I can say what I want to calculate is max. And the field that I want to calculate the max on is salary. Uh, so pretty straightforward, the index name uh, underscore search, I want to perform an aggregation, the name I want to give this aggregation, uh, the kind of aggregation that I want to perform, uh, this will come from the set of supported operations that Elasticsearch gives me for metric aggregations and the field that I want to aggregate on, which in this case is salary, I run this and here we can see that all right, in, in this index, we have eight hits because we have eight documents. Here we see all of those hits, so I'm collapsing this as well. And at the last, we see a key called aggregation in our results, in which we can see the name that we defined, which is max salary. And the value is 9000 because the maximum salary amongst our documents is 9000. Uh, it's really simple. Let me now show you an uh, uh, interesting thing out here. Suppose I want to calculate the max salary and the minimum salary in the same request. So what I can do is simply I can copy this and here I can name this as minimum salary and I can specify the aggregation I want is minimum. And yeah, I have the maximum salary as well as the minimum salary. So I don't have to send two separate requests for two separate aggregations Elasticsearch gives them gives me the, the result in the same uh, request for our next example let's try to see 
uh, how we will get this maximum and minimum salary of only those employees who have the term software in their job description. This will be an example of how we can modify the scope of an aggregation. So I can just simply say here that I want to match all the documents. This is a simple match query which all of you are familiar uh, with at this point of time. Uh, I want to perform a match query where the job description has the term software in it. So it will find only all these documents and it will run the aggregation only on the documents which I get as a result of this query. When I send this request, I see that indeed I have a lesser number of hits, which is four. And my aggregation values are still the same because um, in, in, in the case of this example, 2000 and 9000 are the minimum and maximum salaries of people who have job description of somewhat being related to software. So just to make the example more clear, along with the maximum and the minimum, I will be calculating the average salary. Let's call this AVG. And when I send this request, I see that the average salary in this case is 5750. Now, if I don't give the match query, I see that the average salary has changed to 5500. Another thing that we can do here is suppose we only want the results of our aggregation, but we do not want to see these hits. Simply uh, go here and specify that the size of the hits that I want is zero. And now there, there are a total of eight hits, but we do not receive them as data and uh, the aggregations are very much there. Next, let's see one more type of aggregation here, which is called stats, which is personally my favorite. I say stat over here. I send this request. Hmm. I guess I am missing a S here. And yeah. So uh, stat salary has the count of our records. It, it has the minimum, maximum, the average, and the sum. So it does all of this for us just through a small object. So these are the kind of kind of tasks that you might you know want to perform through Spark or Hadoop. But Elasticsearch is also giving us this facility to uh, you know pull out pull up certain kind of metrics on our data. Elasticsearch was not created for this, but um, having matured so much it is now providing us these kinds of functionalities and i think this is pretty cool i think so this will be it for this short video uh, you can go to the aggregation documentation i will link it in the description below and you can read through to understand it more in depth here are the different kind of metric aggregations that we have and i encourage everyone to read through it and see like if you can use them for your use case um, and that's going to be it for this short video, guys. If you found the video helpful, do click the like button. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please do click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And also do try to tell me in the comments below which features of Elasticsearch you like the most. It'll be, it'll be an interesting discussion. Like always, thanks a lot for watching.